Tale of the Goddess of Beauty and Seduction Nagmalaitang Yawa Sanag Maling Diwata. Nagmalaitang Yawa Sanag Maling Diwata is the goddess of beauty, one of the three most beautiful goddesses in the ancient Visantsan pantheon. The goddess was born from a beautiful flower in the middle of the night, with her two younger sisters, Buragadang Pada Sinakling Bulawan and Lube Lubiak Mahanganin Si Mahuyokuyokin, name, name. Among the three sisters, Nagmalaitang Yawa Sanag Maling Diwata is the most beautiful goddess. Born from a night flower, Nagmalaitang Yawa Sinag Maling Diwata came into the world with the ability to stir up the lustful emotions of the men around her. Her name, which usually means, disguised demoness, splendid goddess, is a combination in and of itself as she was considered by the ancient gods to be both an evil deity and also a benevolent goddess. Dot. Despite possessing a beauty that made everyone admire him, Nagmalaitang Yawa Sanag Maling Diwata chose to marry the dark god Saragnayan, a famous ugly man, tall and muscular, with black skin, teeth as sharp as a knife, fangs like a boar, blood-red eyes, I wonder if it smells bad. Saragnayan is fierce but loves his wife very much. Until one day, the beauty of Nagmalaitang Yawa Sanag Maling Diwata captivated Laba Dongan, and the warrior came to take her as his wife. Saragnayan then fought to keep his wife, and after a terrible fight, Laba, with the help of some boys, defeated Saragnayan. Angry, Nagmalaitang Yawa Sanag Maling Diwata cursed Laba to become crazy. Losing her husband, Nagmalaitang Yawa Sanag Maling Diwata moved into seclusion in the forest. Here, the goddess fell in love at first sight with a hero named Humadapnan. The goddess rescued him from Jin Myunin's spell. The two fell in love and got married. But due to his adventurous spirit, Humadapnan often ran away from home. Nagmalaitang Yawa Sanag Maling Diwata found another lover named Buying Sumaguling. But at that moment, Humadapnan returned. As a result, she was chased by her husband with a sword and ran away. Later, she was cut in half by a magic sword, turning into two beings to marry two warriors. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.